the beams, slabs and columns are normally cast together in the construction site in order to minimize the amount of construction join. Even though sometimes they are not being cast together, because of the continuity of the reinforcement bar and the adequacy of the anchorage length, this member will behave together as a continuous load-bearing structure. That means the stress are effectively distributed from a member to another. The same principle applies to the continuous beam. Stress can be effectively transferred from a beam to another beam. The bending moment envelopes is generally consists of a series of sagging moment and hogging moment. The sagging moment normally occur at the mix band while the hogging moment normally occur at the support. Occasionally, the hogging moment may extend completely over a span. This normally happens when there is a very short span in between of two longer span. To analyze the load acting on the continuous beam, we cannot just simply assume that the UDL is always maximum load of 1.35 and 1.5 throughout. As this may not always be the most critical case, under different load conditions, the bending moment and shear force diagram can vary. Some conditions may appear more critical than the other at certain locations, while the other appears to be more critical at the other con positions of the beam. With that, we need to do some try and error for different kind of load arrangement. To construct the shear force and bending moment diagram of a continuous beam, you need to use the moment distribution method in order to acquire the fixed end moment at the support. Then you calculate the reactions and also the mixed band moment along the beam span. There are two sets of load arrangement for you to use in order for you to compute the envelope shear force and bending moment diagram. You may use the loop set 1 where the maximum minimum maximum and minimum maximum minimums are put alternatively and then you use max max min min and then the max max will move along the span. For a 4 span continuous beam, you require 5 sets of calculations for the shear force and bending moment diagram using the moment distribution method. Alternatively, you may use this low set by assuming maximum or maximum minimum maximum and minimum maximum minimum to compute the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram by using the moment distribution method. All the shear force and bending moment diagram are overlaid onto a shear force and bending moment diagram. This form an envelope shear force and bending moment diagram. By overlaying this shear force and bending moment diagram, you will obtain the maximum shear and maximum and minimum moment at every position along the continuous beam. The meaning of maximum and minimum is actually referring to the combination of GK and QK. 
the minimum load is underlay by 1.35 GK at the ultimate limit state and 1.0 GK for service limit state. As you can see here, the GK always appear throughout the span. This is in line with the assumption that the permanent loads is permanent on a structure throughout the lifespan. As for the variable loads, it can be there or not there. In the existence of only GK, it represents the minimum load conditions. In the existence of GK and QK, it means it is at the maximum condition. When you need to determine the envelope shear force and bending moment diagram for service limit state, all the factors are made into 1.0.